Now another function that we talked about is cleaning the blood. We mentioned that the lymphatic system works much like a sewer system and it prevents impurities from working their way back into our bloodstream. We already said that the lymph system brings fluid and materials back from tissues. That fluid and materials also brings with it bacteria and substances that we just don't want in our bodies. So the lymphatic system does us a great service by cleaning that out with the help of the immune system. It also carries some things from the gastrointestinal system, like lipids, which are too large to make it back into the bloodstream. Now let's get into the basics of the different parts of the lymphatic system, including its pathway. And I wanna say that it's much like the cardiovascular system in many aspects here as well. And what I mean by that is that the vessels start out very small and progressively get larger, starting with the lymphatic capillaries, and then we progress to the lymphatic vessels, next is the lymph node, and from there we go back into the lymphatic vessels, next the lymphatic trunk, and then to the collecting ducts, and from there we move back into the cardiovascular system as we proceed through the subclavian vein. We'll be getting more in detail in following videos, but for now I simply want you to remember these basic parts.